flip the template over and mark the other side plate. Mark a depth of 5mm with tape. The pin will ensure the plates are precisely aligned. Make sure the nail sticks out or you'll never be able to remove it. Press the templates down on a non-stick surface. The templates for the plastic parts can be glued with spray adhesive. The 2.8mm nail pieces should fit snugly. The wire link should move freely but not loosely. Use a drilling guide so the bit doesn't wander.
A10 also needs to be slightly thinner than the frames. Use a piece of paper to provide clearance. If you're left-handed, screw the pocket clip onto the right side and the rubber band hook onto the left side. Start by pushing the spring into the magazine catch and then screwing the catch in place. Put a couple of spaces onto the lever pin. Hook a small rubber band onto the releaser. If you don't have a small rubber band, retie and cut a larger one. Hook the other end of the rubber band onto the nail in A1. Also put the rotor in place, making sure it's not backwards. Put some spaces and a spring onto the trigger assembly. Note how the interior parts, like the pale wood of the bolt, have only a wiped coat of varnish. And exterior parts, like the dark bolt handle, have several coats.
Put the bolt and wire link into place. Screw on the side plate. Finally, screw on the pocket clip. Hook a size 16 rubber band onto the notch on the bolt handle and back to the rubber band hook. There are four slots so that tension can be adjusted. To load the gun, remove the magazine, pull the trigger and push the bolt forward. It will lock open. Load up to 22 size 16 rubber bands as you normally would and insert the magazine to chamber the first shot.